Okay, next mission. Mission 10. Defeat Grade 8 Gohan. This is going to be fun. Can I pick anyone I want? No, I cannot use any of the heroes. Okay, so it looks like this looks like the same team again. Uh, YOLO. Hey, now I know how to defeat a Great Ape, though, so... This should be pretty sweet. Um, if you have a YouTube channel or anything you want me to look at like that, uh, you can message me on Twitter with it. You can uh, leave me a message on my YouTube, even though it might take me a little while to see it if it's on YouTube. Uh, just try to keep it out of the Twitter. Try to keep it out of the Twitch chat. A beast roar. This is going to be pretty sweet. Especially now that I know how to target limbs and stuff. Classic Goku to talk to Gohan telepathically and get him to kick some ass. It'll be interesting if this boss fight isn't the exact same as the Vegeta boss fight, though. Because they did give us three, gate, three grade 8 boss battles. Okay. Let's target something. Let's, uh, look at his We'll go for the legs first. The legs seem to be, seems to be a pretty solid one. Um... Actually, you know what? I've got enough health. After he fires off his next big attack, big-ish looking attack, I'm going to go in and attack his legs. When he's glowing red, okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure when he's glowing red, it means don't fuck with him. So now, let's go in and attack his legs. Oh, God. I, I keep pushing square to attack when I mean to push triangle. I think he hit me with his tail. Wow, my health's already half gone. Okay. It's probably because I don't have any cards on Vegeta is the main reason. Nope, nope, nope. Don't get near me. So let's try this. There we go. We need to get, let's get hits on his legs. Alright, fly away, fly away. I don't want to get hit by nothing. Block that. I don't think I was close enough. Um. Wow, okay. So that's a little bit... They give him different moves at least. Our energy meter, I don't think, is high enough for me to even attempt to fire off a super attack yet. But his legs, we are weakening his legs. Look at how much faster this is now that I know what to do. You can't just focus him. You have to take care of all of his other stuff first. But see, it's kind of nice. You just use the, you just use your teammates as human meat shields. And then you do all the damage from afar. And it works out pretty well. So Gohan's had a couple different moves, but this is still basically the same boss fight. Da na na na, da na na na. This is kind of the bitch way. Oh, I know a good way to do it. Okay, hold on. Let let me get his legs down. So there we go. We got his legs. Let's go beat him up. I think you can get hit. Yeah, you get hits in now, and as you can see, his great eight Gohan health meter was actually going down. Ow! Until he kicked me away with great force. Um, now we're gonna focus on an arm. I think. I have a strategy. Wait, go back. There we go. Right arm. This is my new strategy. Not when he doesn't work when he's hopping towards you though. Okay, let me climb let me climb up. When he's standing still with Vegeta, just hold an L2. Nope, I think I was sitting him in the head. Like I'm targeting his right arm, but I'm on the wrong side of his body. So let me try to get over to his side if he would quit turning. Well, gotta block that, gotta block that. Blocked it. Stop turning, I'm trying to hit your right arm, you shit. Here we go, and attack. I'm out of energy now, so I don't want to, uh... Block that. Didn't go far enough. Oh god, where the fuck did he go? I'm scared, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what the hell? He's throwing rocks! He just KO'd Raditz with a rock. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Throw another one, you punk. wonder how he's doing that with such weak legs. He can still jump like that. Oh, speaking of weak legs. Let's go back to beating him up. Uh, our energy meter is not high enough for me to do a super attack yet, so... Let's try this. 
that actually doesn't do as much work as I would like it to. So I don't think it's worth the effort. However, if it if it did as much as I was hoping it would, it would have been overpowered as crap anyway. So let's block that. I think I have enough now if I wait and let my... Oh, God. Get me out of here. Raditz is laughing. You've got knocked out a couple times there, buddy. Okay, I have enough now. I think if I wait and... I'm working on it. I think if I wait and let my energy meter get full, I can hit him with a super attack, and we know how fast those super attacks melt. That attack is deadly when he shoots the three purple balls, because there's almost no dodging it, depending on where you're at. There we go. Gallant gun. I was trying to hit his right... I think... Yeah, I think I got it off on his right arm. And with my health this low, I'm afraid to go in on him. I think a good healer would help this team. I don't know if we have one. I don't know who the villains play or, like, what they do. Don't throw a rock at me. Okay. Those big-ass rocks are scary. That's not going to go far enough, but I'm going to block anyway. I think my grading also comes on how... Um, how badly my... What the hell? No, I didn't want to waste that. Why did he shoot that into the sky? I think my teammate grade also may come off of how many times my teammates get knocked out. Or, not my teammate grade, but like my S rank or whatever. Maybe he jumped. There we go. Okay, he's over there now. This will give me a chance to build up some good key. Because hitting him with these moves apparently does... Oh my god, I got hit with a rock. That's a KO. <laughs> hey, thanks Raditz, you're not useless. Oh, it's because I couldn't fly anymore to the side. That's as far as I could go. I hit, I hit an invisible wall and I didn't know it. So that's, that's probably why I couldn't get out of the way of his giant rock. That being said... Oh, shit! That does so much! And then he landed on me? Good God, he's taking a shit on my dreams. Oh, thanks for the energy, whoever sent that. You're a little late there. Gotta find that right arm. Let's get, if we can get another, there we go, get another good Gallic gun. That right arm is toast. There we go, now we go in and beat on him, get some key back, so we can start using it on the left arm. Actually, we're probably going to kill him before we take all of his limbs apart anyways, with how good this is going. Oh, we got good damage in on him there. Let's do that. No, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to take down his limbs again. I don't think I can just spam his center. How's that for a super? You, yeah, look at that. And with how high our energy meter is, with how fast I'm getting energy back now, his left arm's gonna be done in no time. And as soon as his left arm's done, uh, we win. So you know, there's that. Spam them key attacks. Here we go. There's his left arm. Fly in for the kill. No, his left arm's still up. Mission failed? What happened? Did I run out of time? He's really low, actually. Let's attack his right arm. Even though his head's lower, I just like breaking down the arms in order. If I can get a good look at him and then. Gallic gun to their arm. That does a lot. Good God. I think we beat him. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Grr. Hopefully we got better than an E rating this time. It's almost like we're playing Mario. Oh god. Hey, I'm actually paying attention this time. <laughs> I'll give you some of my power. Do what you want with it. Hey, I wonder if this speeds up the process. Think that did it? I think I think that helped. I think firing a super attack actually helped. 96 energy, but I actually think firing a super attack sped it up. So that's pretty sweet. Ah. Uh. I think I, hey, we got an S rank. That's way better than the E rank from before. I think I got a few more missions in me. Before I call it a day. 
We got a few more cards. Got a lot of stuff left to do off camera, so. Mission number 41, holy crap. Items added to premium. Okay, yeah, I got a couple more missions anyway. We'll see how they go. So we just took out Great Ape Gohan. Um, oh boy. In this level, we can discover the best character in the game. Frieza Soldier! Woohoo! Okay, so... I'm going to be Goku. That If I get a choice, I'm going to be Goku. Vegeta can be my right-hand man. I want Gohan to heal and Piccolo to kick ass. So there we go. Um, we'll give them all the costumes. I'll redo costumes for next time, but as of now, let's show off what we got, you know? They can have black and white. Let's have everybody in an all black and white everything. How about that? Customize. Color customize. Which one's stupid? Light purple's stupid. Actually, that blue is almost the same as his blue, so... All black and white everything. That's the look we're going with. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way with that. Let's make these white. Because why not? It's the legendary soldier of Frieza. Yeah, we're shaking. Confirm, confirm. There's a lot of confirms on that. Oh, wait, no, go back. There we go. And then does Piccolo already have one? He's got a black one with red. Let's change that. Let's change that right, Chicky. Um, to black with white. If it's white, it's all right. There we go. And then that's a weird off brown color. I don't even know what that. Oh, his shoes. I was like, what is that even for? There we go. And confirm. 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 Okay, I think we're good to go. Everyone got their black and white get up? Everyone? Everyone, we all set? Good, let's do this. In we go. Hopefully we don't get our butts kicked. Okay, Ginyu forces Goldo is weak, but uses an extremely powerful telekinesis. Defeat him quickly before he stops your movement. So he's super squishy, but can totally get wrecked if you focus him at all. I doubt he can telekinesis more than one person at a time, or more than two people at a time, so... 4v1 focus is going to go down pretty quick. Team all black and white, see if you can stop us. Well, look at all the blue Frieza soldier. I'm so happy I get to beat this piece of crap up. You're all gonna die. Yeah, easy there, mutton stash. Did I just I just two shotted that little piece of garbage? Oh, are they gonna send more of these guys? Booyah! Wait, go back Go back to that one below me. Go back. It wasn't dead yet. Go back to the one below me. I cannot push down on this thing any harder. Where did he go? Ah, screw it. Yeah, you can send all the reinforcements of these little douchebags you want to. I don't think it's going to change much. They're so weak, and rightfully so. I'm glad they made him suck. They shouldn't even be in the game to begin with. They could have just reused Shibaman for this part if they really wanted to. If anything... It... Ha! Thank you, Vegeta. I mean, they can have as many reinforcements as they want, but I really don't understand the point right now. Except this. Yeah, I like having. I definitely like having Gohan on the team. He may not deal a lot of damage or be much of a distraction, much more than a meat shield. 
But the healing is just so... It's something that you don't notice until you have a healer. And it's kind of overpowered. Did I just get knocked around by a Frieza soldier? I will not tolerate that. Unless they move to the left a little bit, or to the right, and get out of the way of my attack. Ah, um, here we go. Taking a little while to fly to him. I could have Kaioken, but oh well. There we go. Took a little while to break his, uh, break his guard, but once I did, it was over. Leave my son alone! They just change colors. They're not. I don't even think that they're getting stronger. If they do, it's not by much. Did he dodge that? Oh well. Arg. Shut up, you vagina. Hm. A super attack from the Frieza soldier. God, the Kamehameha wave is so overkill on these guys, it's retarded. Don't be hit by that. Oh, I'm tired. Shit. These ones use super attacks. I should be afraid. Look at my health. Like, we've gone through so many and my health isn't even halfway down yet. I mean, I'm sure Gohan's been giving me a little bit, but... Wow, what a stupid little move. Knockback ought to do it. Let's look at the new running animation. Isn't it cool? Aren't you glad they added a running animation in this game? Okay, that mission was not bad at all. Got an S rank. I think I'm missing points because I don't have cards attached to my players, which is stupid. If anything, I should get bonus points for not having cards on them. <clears throat> that should make it harder. I think I'm going to do one more and call it good, because I've been going for, I don't know, probably about two hours, maybe a little more. I think I'm going to do one more mission, call it good. Um, stream will be live uh, in another couple days, another week, depending on how many episodes of this I get out. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this last mission. Uh, mission number 12. Oh, the Gildo, two Frieza soldiers, and a secret enemy. Now, like they said... We gotta take Gildo out early, because he's super weak, but... Well, that's just it, he's super weak, but he's got killer telekinesis, so... I'm not gonna bother adding cards this time, I will add cards off-camera later. And then I will come back super beefed up and a freaking machine, because I'll have cards on everyone, and it'll be like cheating. Yeah, an adventure mode for this game would have been alright. I feel like it would have taken a lot more effort on their part to make it an adventure mode versus what it is now. It's, it seems like they really went the cheap way with a lot of stuff on this game. Um, just gypped us in a lot of departments. Characters obviously being one, and then... I don't know. Some people can defend it, and they have a right to, but... We'll see. This game's alright so far. Black and white everything, bitches. <laughs> what a little nerd. Did he holy crap, did you guys see that wafting fart? It like blew up. As long as he doesn't focus me, which he's probably gonna do, but as long as he doesn't just focus me, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh. He focused all of us. Where is I'm just going to ignore everything else until I find Gildo. Freeze a soldier, freeze a soldier. Oh, there he is. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, that's a pain. There we go, found him. He's telekinesis. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's go get Let's go get him. 
There we go. Now we got him. Now we got him where we want him. Damn it, he disappeared again. And then he telekinesis everyone. That is an insane little move. Let's just block until we find... There we go. There, Come here, you little shit. Wow, I beat him. Okay. Damn it, I can't. I want to get him in a chase battle. Why did we stop targeting him? There we go. Come on. Come on. We. I need you to chain now, team. I need... Nobody chained. Okay. Okay. I think we got him. There we go. Gildo's done. Now we just have to kill Frieza soldiers. That's not even hard, so we're good. And my team actually just took down the last of the Frieza soldiers, so... Uh-oh, we got a warning. Raccoon! Is he going to blow a wafting fart, too? Yeah, he kind of got that side cheek thing going on. He, like, blew it out of his ass sideways. They probably shouldn't have had Taco Bell. No. Re oh, God. Neat focus. I was, I was running sideways strictly to avoid that, and it still didn't work. Um, anyways, I'm actually not going to focus Raccoon first, because he... Seems like he's going to be a little bit more bulkier than Gildo was. Uh, we're going to take out the Frieza soldiers to guarantee that all my teammates are going to be focusing uh, one Raccoon. That's my strategy on it anyway, so I, I don't want to focus Raccoon first. And they keep getting reinforcements, which makes this more annoying, but... I think it's dumb how Key Blast kind of knocked me backwards a little bit. Like, Goku wouldn't just fly through Key Blast, you know? <clears throat> and once they stop sending in reinforcements, we should be good. Synchro! A little bit of overkill, but Goku Vegeta Synchro is actually a pretty badass combo. I've got the super attack, so why not go ahead and launch something off on Raccoon? Because it's going to miss, that's why. Uh, but he's the only one left, so I think we're good now. Let's just <clears throat> They're done sending in reinforcements, and now we can have a 4v1 battle. Going to make it a lot easier to take down Raccoon, at least that's my strategy. Pretty sweet eraser gun. Good thing is I got to punch him the entire time he was doing it. I'm not 100% sure it did damage because his uh, target thing was gray instead of red like it is when you can actually hurt them. Point blank. I somehow missed, though. Somehow missed due to magic, I guess. I kind of wish I could aim at myself. That would be pretty sweet, but if Goku just wants to automatically miss for no reason, that's an okay game feature, too, I guess. I was just going to block until a teammate attacked, but I guess my teammates are just done attacking. And of course I wouldn't get a chase for no reason, but that's... Oh, I'm going to die. Yep, Raccoon punched me in the head. It's a good thing my teammates were all watching me, not doing anything, though. That's a pretty... Thanks for the energy, Gohan. A little late. At least... When he's beating on them, they're actually being used as a meat shield. They're doing something useful for me. When he's beating on me and they are all just flying around doing nothing, it doesn't matter what command I throw around, they're just going to keep watching me do nothing. Let him get up. He's going to fly away. He's going to get kicked in the face. <laughs> he's going to keep knocking him down. That's my strategy. He's going to keep knocking him down. He's going to do an attack. Yep. Okay, let's follow up with... That, which did nothing. All right. This game's got its little quirks that don't seem to make any sense to me sometimes. I'll, I'll give it that much. He's getting a racer gun. Um, I used my Kaioken attack on him, so I died there. Go figure. How many lives? Uh, we have two lives left. So we got a little bit to work with. I don't I don't even know where he is. I think I have enough for a super, but every super I've missed so far, it didn't matter if it was point blank or across map. Let's see if this one connects for the kill. And it does. All right. Good way to end it.
Mission complete. Yahoo. Let's fly in circles. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. But you know. <laughs> um, Goku, you are the guy asking for energy. How can you even request that? There we go. I'm going to fire off a super attack because I think it works. As soon as I'm full enough to fire off a super... There we go. Super attack. Because that drains my energy meter and it gives energy to them. Let's stop kicking and actually start going back to draining our energy meter. How about that? Yeah, it's firing super attacks works. Since 69 energy, but my... Uh, whatever meter wasn't full. My energy meter wasn't full to begin with, so. There we go. A rank, that sucks. I thought I got an S on that one. Vegeta's a lower rank, but he's also a higher power level, so you gotta take that in mind. More cards, which I'm gonna start using next time. Oh, yay, we'll not Gildo. I actually might try him out next. But all right, I think that's going to do it for me. That's going to wrap it up this time. Um, oh, I got a lot of off-camera stuff to do on adding cards to everyone and everything. I just didn't want to bore you guys with it now. But we had a good first session. This game's this game's all right. I'm going to edit some of our costumes and be back next time for uh, mission 13. It looks like where we get to face Burter and Jace. So be ready for that. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to leave a follow if you've made an account. And if you're here on YouTube and you're new, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you're into this Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z stuff. I'm Thundershot, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.